Hey guys, Gordon here from GCreate, and in today's video, we want to show you how to set up Simplify 3D for dual extrusion prints. Hey guys, Gordon here. One thing you'll notice with dual extrusion is most of the magic happens in the slicer. So Simplify 3D has a few new tools that make dual extrusion prints much simpler. Uh, of course, there's very different ways to go about this, and we'll try and show you two or three different techniques so you can get up and printing with your dual extruder. The first thing you're going to need is a file that has two separate models for dual extrusion. We're going to go ahead and use the Easter Island Moai. It's a, it's a great print, it's fairly simple and fairly small, and it can really show um, how easy it is to do dual extrusion prints. So this was uh, designed by Mark Fellis, and you'll notice under Thing Files, it has the main body, and then the lines are the secondary model, and then they nest together in Simplify. So go ahead and download both them, or download all the files. All right, once the download is complete, you can go ahead and open up the uh, zip file or, or the individual folders. I'm going to go ahead and unzip them here. Okay. Now you'll see that you have the two models as discussed. Now you can go ahead and open up Simplify 3D. Okay, once you have Simplify 3D open, uh, if you've watched our previous video, it showed you how to install the single and dual extruder uh, profiles from, uh, from GCreate. And uh, make sure that you're on the dual extruder profile and you have it selected. Then you can go ahead and drop your models in that you just unzipped, both of them. And you'll notice there's two different models, one for each extruder, one for each color. And uh, the quickest way to align these, uh, the hope is that they were aligned by the model maker. And if you just hit center and arrange, it doesn't treat them as one model. So one quick workaround is to select both files, hold down the shift key and hit center and arrange. And that'll put them together. So it's actually still two models just on top of each other uh, where they should be. Now the simplest way to move forward is to use the new dual extrusion wizard from Simplify. It's a really easy way to do a, a dual extrusion model. And really all you're doing is making sure you have your profile selected correctly, the dual extruder. Pick your material. The extruder configuration is both extruders. And then you want to pick which extruder does which model. So the lines could be left extruder, the body could be right extruder. When you're done with that, hit OK. It'll automatically generate a dual extrusion process for you with the two colors. It'll group the models themselves. And if you just hit prepare to print, make sure you select all for this particular uh, setup. And whenever you're doing a dual, dual extrusion print, what you really want to do is make sure where it says coloring and there's feature type, you go to active tool head and that'll ensure that you have both tools operating. So if you scroll down, you can see that tool 0 is blue and tool 1 is a greenish color so that we know that both of the extruders are working. And you'll see on the outside what it's creating is a an ooze shield. And what this does is protect the model from little blobs of uh, plastic on top of the extruder from kind of dirtying up your model. If you want to go back and turn that off, we, we suggest leaving it on, but if you do want to turn it off, it's under additions. And then use ooze shield again by default we leave it on i'll turn it off so you can actually see the model uh, itself without the ooze shield blocking it there you go and just as with every print make sure you double and triple check the g-code because it's much quicker and easier to check now than wait for the print to finish but um yeah the with the new dual extrusion wizard it's very simple to get going with dual extrusion so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the blue shield again. Go ahead and slice it again. And now we're ready to put it on an SD card and bring it over to the printer. One thing we've noticed with uh, Simplify is make sure you read in the bottom that toolpaths have uh, successfully been exported because sometimes very large files take a few minutes and if the file hasn't completely transferred over it'll make the print act uh, pretty funny. So let's go ahead and go over to the printer.
Okay, so what you'll notice with the dual extrusion setup wizard is all it's really doing is creating a process with two colors and assigning one color to one model and the other color to the other model. So if you ever need to check or, or switch that, you can go to edit process settings and select models. And then you'll see which model that current process is assigned to. So this one's assigned to the lines and the other one will be assigned to the body. If you want to switch those for whatever reason, you can just select the other one. So this one will now be lines and we'll make this one body. And now they will be reversed. And when I prepare to print, you'll see that the uh, two colors are opposite now. Well, the U shield is in the way, but you can see the two colors have switched. And if you ever need to change any of the settings, make sure you do it in the top group. Um, otherwise, if you do it for the separate uh, processes, they, the settings might not change for both. So if you want to change the layer height, go to the top setting, hit edit process settings, and then you can change the layer height, infill, everything you want. So now we've shown you how to do a dual color print. Uh, there's another form of dual extrusion printing in Simplify where you can assign either the infill, the support material, or other portions of the model to the second extruder. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So the model we're going to use uh, can be found in the SD card. It will be uh, under STL files. It's GMAX Bent Logo. This is just a fun model we made a while ago. Now, just like before, now you can go to Edit Process Settings. Make sure you're on the dual extruder uh, profile. It says modified now because we've started changing a few little things and that's okay. So you want to make sure that you have under auto configure extruders, make sure you have both extruders selected. If you want to just use a left extruder and, and not have the right one heat up, you can do left extruder only uh, or same thing, right extruder only, and that means the left extruder will not heat up. Um, both means they will both heat up, so you can use them both. What we're going to do first is have the perimeters be one extruder and the infill another extruder. And it's very simple. In process settings, you can go to layer for primary extruder, say um, left extruder, primary height, whatever you might want. 200 microns is fine. I'm actually going to turn off the top and bottom solid layers so you can see the infill and leave on the outer perimeter. Now if you go to infill, make sure you select the right extruder. Now, left extruder will be layer and perimeters, right extruder will be infill. Uh, this model does not need support, and everything else should be already set. Now, if we hit prepare to print, you'll see that now we have, again, a big ooze shield. But if we go to feature type, to uh, coloring to active tool head, you'll see that tool 1 is the infill, and tool 0 is the or are the perimeters rather. And there's no top or bottom layers, so you'll, you'll actually see the info when you print, which is uh, always fun to do. So using this technique, you can assign different extruders to support, infill, anything else you might want. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn off the ooze shield so you can see the actual, there you go. Now you can actually see the print better. And if I were to turn on top and bottom layers like you normally would have, then you'll see that the infill is just all obviously hidden by the uh, exterior shell. And again, using this method, you do not have to select models because there's only one model. Uh, this is a great way if you want to do support material using PVA or HIPS, something that can be dissolved later, or if you want to make your support material something that uh, is a little bit more brittle maybe than PLA, and it's very easy to remove. And just like before, we recommend if you're going to do any dual extrusion print, use the ooze shield, and that'll protect the print from uh, little blobs of filament that might uh, might hit it. Well, we hope you found this tutorial to be useful, and it helped you get up and running with the dual extruder. And as always, happy printing.